So I'm here at Bloodstock Open Air with the marvellous, lovely Doro. Hello, how hey. are you? Very good, very good. Very good. So you played earlier, how did it go down? Is it your first time at Bloodstock as yeah, well? Yeah, first time and I was so excited to come here and it was it was a great show. The audience responded awesome. I was worried that we played so early and I thought, hopefully they are hopefully awake they are. by then. Okay. Saying Burning the Witches and all we are like no other. It was it was awesome. Yeah. And you got Sabina up as well from Holy Moses to come and do it. Yeah. We sang together Celebrate. It's a song on the last album and we did actually three versions of it. One with Biff of Saxon, one with the fans and one the full metal female version with all kinds of female singers of all kinds of metal genres and then Sabina and me we are just sharing the tour bus so she was here and with us and then I said oh let's do it together. What's the sign of a really good show to you because obviously you're very experienced now in, in performing so what's when you come off stage you think that was an amazing show? Um, for me like when I feel that the fans are excited when they are like cheering along singing along and I can sometimes see it in their eyes when I feel the magic, then, then that's good. From the first or second song, when I know they are doing haze, and then yeah. I know, okay, we're in the right place. And, but today was extremely nice, and yeah, it was awesome. I love to play England. We did many times before, and the last tour was actually uh, with Saxon, and it went over so well, so I was really excited to come back. Now, you've had a lot of involvement with Whack and Open Air in the past. You actually wrote an anthem for their 20th anniversary. How did that come about? And the anthem for Wacken, yeah. actually, there's a diehard Wacken fan, and uh, he wrote a song. It's called We Are the Metalheads. And then he presented it to the uh, Wacken guys, like there are two people, Thomas Jensen and Holger Hübner. Yeah, and Holger called me and he said, Hey, Toro, you know, I, I think you might like the song, and it's the new Wacken anthem. Yeah, and then I listened to the demo, and it was awesome. Then we went into the studio, and, oh, and actually, it was like a little. A little chant by fans and some friends and, and I think it came out really good and, and it's definitely a metal anthem. Today I thought maybe I want to play it because it's so it's so metal and, and we are all metal heads and it's all universal and actually the Bloodstock Festival it reminded me a little bit on Wacken because the atmosphere is, is so super nice, everybody's super friendly, there's a lot of heart. Yeah. Yeah. Now you are the queen of rock and queen of metal. Do you have any advice to give to women, not trying to follow in your shoes, but trying to get into the industry? When, when you feel like music and metal in your heart, just go for it, give it your all, always give like 150% and, and it, will, it will happen. And always stay true to yourself, you know, yeah. no matter what anybody says, just like, you know, you will feel it out when you feel you're in the right place. And I think the fans, they always know. Yeah. And so, and since it is all for the fans, for nobody else, that's, that's like the way to go. And I was always treated really good in the metal scene, even when everybody said it's very male orientated. I, I never felt like bad about it, I just felt really good, always like, treated really good so so what are your plans for the rest of the year now I'm going over to Japan I've oh, never wow. been there so yeah this New is something yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And I heard it from so many other bands and I said it's it's definitely different but yeah. it's great the new DVD will come out we recorded it a couple of years ago the 25th anniversary and it was the longest show we ever did like three and a half hours great guests like um, Bobby Blitz of Overkill, the Scorpions were there, Boral Dane, my old Warlock band members. We had another celebration a couple of weeks ago, the 2500 concert. So there will be a little yeah, bit of a documentary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. So that's the, and it's called 25 Years in Rock. We just uh, signed a new deal to Nuclear Blast, so so it's all fresh and new and I'm excited. And, yeah. well, good luck with it all. It's been thank lovely you. speaking to you. Nice so thank you. you. It's Doro. Oh, Hi guys. <laughs>